right? Okay, here we go. So we start with the breathing exercise to open up the lungs, fingers under the chin, exhale, bring your head back. Inhale, chin down, arms up. Exhale, head up. Palms together, elbows touch. Inhale, chin down. Lift, exhale, head up. Elbows touch. One more time, inhale, chin down. Exhale, head up. Elbows high, palms together, and relax, arms by your side. First pose, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon with Padmasasana, hands to the feet pose, feet together, arms overhead. Interlace the fingers, index finger release, let's tick tock, left and right, side to side, back and forth. Lift it up as you go over to the side. Stop in the middle, take a deep breath in. Stretch up and over to the right side. You're gonna push your hips to the left, put your arms to the right, chest out, arms back, chin up. Push down to the left heel, because you're reaching to the right, hips are to the left, opposite direction, come down a little more, and come up, stop in the middle. Inhale, up, and over to the left side. Chest comes out, arms come back, it's one opposite direction. Hips right, arms left, another opposite direction. And then from your right hip to your right heel to the ground. Right hip all the way up that right side body, and come up. I'm gonna have Marta in. Let it turn to the side. We're going to go half move back bend. If you don't have a neck issue, relax the neck, let the head fall. Lift the chest and reach back behind your super slow motion. In hot yoga, we exaggerate the back bend. So hips are forward, but not too far forward. Reach back, arms straight, arms a little more straight, Marta. Reach back, a little bit more. Exhale at the end and come up. Hold. Let's go forward in a flat back. Bend your knees if you need. Arms to the pants to the ground. Shake out the hips left and right. Side to side. If you don't have a knee issue, do a little squat. We're going to go hands to feet from the back. Fingers come underneath the heels. The arms come around the backs of the calf muscles. That's the grip mark to have to use. Elaine's a little more advanced, so she can cut the heels from the back. She's going to show you what the grip looks like. Show that grip later. Go out and in. So there's the grip. Yes. And slowly begin to straighten your legs one quarter inch at a time. If the knees are bending, straighten them. If the legs are stretched and completely straight, head to the feet. Weight forward a little more. Good shoulders up, Elena. Weight forward, Marta, at the end. And come on, arms up in front. Arms down by your side. We're going to still face that direction. We're going to go into awkward pose. Feet separate out. Right foot steps out from the left. 15 centimeters and 16 inches. Arms up, nice and strong. Utkatasana, awkward pose. Inhale, right down on the chair. We go. It's okay to go forward a little bit. That'll get you lower. Tailbone actually turns down. And you're going to lift your chest, body back. Hold. Change. Second part, come up on your toes as high as you can. Deep breath in, straight down, straight back. Go, halfway stop. That's it. Good, keep your back straight. Stomach in. Good, up on the toes, sit down more toe. A little more, now body back. Five seconds, hold, three, two, change. Third part on your toes a little bit. Feet apart, knees together. Careful with any knee issues. Down we go, slow motion. You may wanna do the first part or the second part twice if you have a knee issue. If not, you're going to hover just before the hips touch the heels, arms a little lower, Martin. Yep, back is straight. And now we're going to hold the core, deep breath, come up, slow motion. Arms down by your side, right leg back to your place. Face back to the front, and you can smile a little bit. <laughs> Eagle pose, Garudasana, arms overhead, hook the right arm under the left arm, thumbs toward the face. If you need to squat down a little bit to soften your hips, right leg over the left leg, wrap it around the other side, the calf muscle. All the joints are open at the same time, especially the hips. Once the foot hooks, bring the top knee to the center. Do that more to bring your top knee to the center. So you right, yes. Change. Other side, left arm under. Hook it. Squat. Soften. Left leg over, wrap it, work it. 
squeeze it. Okay, so if you can't get the foot behind you, watch it later, she's gonna point her foot out to the side. Point her knee to the right, that works the foot around to the left. And then it hooks. Hold here. And change. Good. I'll have more to Elena face back over to the side again. We're gonna go standing head to knee. Pick up your right foot, interlace the fingers just below the ball of the foot. Wait to the big toe mound, zip up the quadricep muscle. I like to be a little bit above waist level to start, a little different than the Bikram roll. And slow the right leg kicks out to the mirror. Easy, does it. Just do it one set because it's a short flow. So take your time. So you can flex your foot more and more to back towards you. If the upper leg is straight, and only if the upper leg is straight, go ahead and land it, the elbows can drop. For Marta, she's just gonna extend that leg out, kick the leg out as far as she can. To a final position, only touching the head to knee if the upper leg is completely straight. And change, let's go left side. A couple left foot interlace, the fingers just below the ball of the foot, your eyes fixed on one spot. Slowly the left leg kicks out to the mirror till the left leg is straight. Shoulders down, arms extended. Excellent. Yes. Side's a little more flexible for you, Marta. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And only if the upper leg is straight with the elbows dropping. The head drops, head to knee, but until the upper leg is straight, most of you at home, or many of you at home, I should say, shoulders down, arms extended. That's how you're going to get that leg out to the final position and change. Standing bow, let's actually, let's have you face the other direction this time just to change things up. Face the left wall. Pick up your right foot from the inside. Go a little closer. There you go. From the inside, top of the foot in the ankle meet. I like a little bit lower than two inches below the toe. Strong left arm. We're going to lower down slowly as we kick back. And the goal here is to get your stomach parallel to the floor as fast as you can. Not as fast as you can, but fairly, fairly soon. So that your hamstring, your standing leg is stretching. Now we're going to kick back from that position. Strong arm, little more, change on the side. Excellent. You guys are perfectly synced. Pick up a left foot inside position, strong arm. Two knees together from the start. We're going to lower down and kick back, equal parts. Here we go. Reach forward. Try to overarch your back. Keep your chin over, over your shoulder, Martin. That's it. That's it. Now kick back from there. That's it. Reach forward and kick. Strong arm. Reach and kick. Reach and kick. Final position. Reach and kick. Change. Back to your place. Face back toward me. Let's do tree. Right foot up. Inside part of the thigh. Your heel on the inside part of the thigh, so it's underneath the navel. You don't want the, the foot to go too far over to your left. The knee goes out to the right and back. The hip joint comes forward. If the foot's going to stay there, bring both hands to your heart. If not, you can hold the foot with the left hand from underneath. And change on the side. Heel underneath the navel. The knee goes out to the left and back. The hip joint comes forward and a hinge. Rotating forward. One hand up, then the other. I'm And change. Feet to the back of the room. Turn around, relax. Shavasana, arms by your side, palms up. For the second most important moment of the class, the first Shavasana. Are you still as possible? Keep the eyes open, it's not over yet. Arms by your side, legs about hip width apart, toes out. And in complete surrender for the circulation to free flow into the body, to run its course. This is how the body heals and recovers. Think of it as a complete contraction in the standing poses, and now a complete relaxation and shavasana, the ultimate shakti pose. So we'll start with Pavanudasana wind. Liberation, when removing, also they call it gas removing. The right leg up, interlace the fingers at the knee, pull the knee to the chest as you exhale. Can't get the knee to the chest because you need resistance. Shift it over to the right shoulder a little bit. Otherwise, point straight down on the exhale. Inhale, hold. Time with the breath. Change arms and legs down. 
left leg up, interlace the fingers, same thing, a little bit. Just left of center is the ideal position to access the body internally, but you can shift it over a little bit to the left shoulder if you need a little help. You're still pulling in, you're still pulling down. Change, arms and legs down. Both legs up, grab each elbow over your legs if you can't get the elbows far. Wrist, hands, wherever possible. Chin down, back of the neck on the floor. One vertebra at a time, down toward the tailbone. Just put pressure in the digestive system, and the colon, to help heal the body from the inside. And bring your legs straight up in the air. You're gonna slowly lower down, holding the core. Extra lower abdomen work. You might want to hover before you touch and lower down slowly. Arms by your side. Good. Circulation rush. Okay, one sit up, arms overhead. We're going to do our sit up, touch your head to your knees twice. Turn around, face the front. We're going to do the cobra pose. Bhujangasana, hands under the shoulders. Little fingers on the outside edge, tips of the fingers, front part of his legs, solid and controlled. Deep breath in, and slowly come up. Halfway position, stop, belly button and hold. Think of the elbows dropping to the waist, that drops the shoulders down, hold here, and lower down slowly with control. Head to the side, arms by your side. Good, let's do locust, arms at the body all the way inside, get the arms in between the hip points, grab the floor with the fingertips, chin on the floor, and right leg up. Go, 45 degree angle, straight line back behind you, pointing that toe, hold here, seven, eight, nine, ten, change, left leg up, start again. Go, two, three. So if you see yourself in the mirror, if you have a mirror at home, you're looking at yourself in the mirror, your legs should be coming straight out from the shoulder, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, foot, change. Mouth on the floor, deep breath, both legs up, go. Use your arms underneath, fingers like suction cups, you guys look great. Seven, eight, nine, nine and a half, nine and three quarters, and ten. Come down slowly to control, turn your head to the other side. Good, let's press back into child pose right from there. And come up, face to a camera, we're gonna do some leg stretching. Right leg out to the side, left leg in. Interlace the fingers, grab the right foot, bend the knee as much as you need to to grab the foot, slide the heel out to eventually that leg is straight. The knee's bending. Before it touches the knee the whole time. Change it. Left leg out, right leg in. Slide it out, left corner. To the left leg straight. And we'll lift the fingers, head to knee, rounded spine. Change. Facing that direction, both legs out in front of you. Do a fast sit up. Come on up. Two finger grip, grab the big toes, walk the hips back and forth, left to right. The knees bending, slowly begin to straighten the legs. If the legs are straight, elbows down. Pull, stretch, breathe, lengthen, exhale, and change. Let's go spine twist. Left leg in underneath you, right leg over. Left them over the top knee, hold the bottom knee. Twisting to the right, pushing back to the left. Opposite direction. Change, right leg in, left leg over. Heel and knee touching. Right arm comes over. So the heel, the hand, the knee, all in the same area. So to get the knee on the ground, Marta, push and get that other foot closer to your knee. You're going to twist left, push back right at the same time, exhale, and change, turn around, relax, feet to the back of the room for a final shavasana, arms by your side, palms up. Feeling all the energy flowing into the body. Complete healing, cleansing, head to toes, bone to the skin. So that's our episode for today. If you want to learn all about hot yoga, more flows, tutorials, 
Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, share with your friends, any comments put them down below. I get to all the comments. We'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Smile guys. See you next time.